It was a terrifying ordeal for these children, some of them only four, and going to school for the first time as they attempted to reach the Holy Cross Girls Primary. Security forces erected a barrier and cleared a path for them and their parents as they passed through the Protestant Glenbryn area. Around 200 loyalist protesters shouted abuse and some hurled bottles, one of which injured one of the parents. It was a display of sectarianism and hatred, which the principal and board of governors had hoped they would have been spared. I'm a bit older than the children going to school and honestly in 30 years the priest I have never ever been so not afraid I don't care about myself I've never heard such vitriol raw naked vitriol Many parents brought their children back home because they were so distressed <laughs> Earlier, security forces clashed with loyalist protesters as they gathered near the gates of the Catholic school. Unionist politicians met the RUC chief constable to complain at what they described as heavy-handed tactics used by the police. But what we need to do is to find a way forward, but we'll certainly not get a way forward in the context of street disorder or street uh, difficulties where the, uh, the sort of uh, activity that we saw this morning on the part of the security forces at one stage, the RUC attempted to push a nationalist crowd away from the flashpoint area on Ardoin Road, but calm was restored following the intervention of senior Sinn Féin figures. This afternoon, the 100 or so children who had remained in class left the Holy Cross School in taxis and cars, using an alternative entrance at the back of the building. In a statement this afternoon, the Red Hand Defenders, which is a cover name used by the UDA and LDF, warned Holy Cross parents to keep their children away from the Ardoin Road area. The Loyalist paramilitary group also threatened members of the RUC. Michael Fisher, RTE News, Ardoin.